All right, so coming at you with another 254 inch video. And as promised, I put the 1605 motors on here. So these are the, these are obviously from Mugat as well, 3600 kV. I talked about this motor in the previous video when I flew it with the uh, 2004 motor that this bind and fly originally comes with. But I'm pretty sure if you want this motor, you can have them um, swap it out or custom make it for you because I think it's build to order anyway. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, cover everything that I, I talked about in the previous video. I'll link that in the video description if you want to uh, sort of get the full uh, thoughts on, on sort of my predictions. But basically in a nutshell, uh, the way this felt on a three and a half inch prop with this wider 2004 motor it just felt a little bit weird in terms of the lower end of the throttle. And it has to do with the this, the diameter of the motor and how much of that motor um, blocks the prop. So you can see the 1605 uh, uh, motor here and see how much of the prop is blocked by that motor. And if, you, if I cover this up with the 2004, you can see how much more of the prop is covered up when you're flying it on the three and a half inch prop. So basically, if you're gonna get this four inch frame with the 1605 motors, I was suggesting uh, get the 1605 motors instead of the 2004 motors if you're gonna, if your preference is the um, three and a half inch propeller because it's gonna be uh, less of the, mo uh, less of the prop is gonna be blocked by the motor as you can see here. But it's more than just the stator size. You have to look at the actual diameter of the motor bell and you can see the 1605 motor is about 20.8 millimeters, but the 2004 motor, the motor bell is actually about 24.8 millimeters. So, you know, it's um, it it is a significant part of the what they're calling, I guess, the disc area of the prop that's being blocked. So you have the uh, motor blocking the prop blades as well as the arm. And that led to some weird things happening at the low end of the throttle, which is why I think that this is a better motor. I did fly it on both the three and a half inch prop and the four inch prop on the 1605 motor. And I was like, well, you know, the four inch prop on the 2004 motor didn't experience as much as that weirdness at the bottom end of the throttle because it is a, it's a half an inch longer. So, um, let, you know, in terms of the percentage of the prop blade that's being blocked by the motor, it's significantly less compared to the three and a half inch prop. However, having flown both the three and a half inch prop and the four inch prop on this motor, I have to say that it flies, okay, well, for, first of all, it flies better on the three and a half inch prop with the 1605 motor in this setup here than with the 2004 motor. That was my prediction. That's what I expected. And it turns out that's exactly how it, it turned out to be. Um, the low end of the throttle didn't feel kind of mushy and unresponsive. Uh, it didn't, because basically the prop didn't have to spin up to a higher RPM to get that thrust. And because less of the prop is being blocked by this narrower motor, it's more responsive at the low end of the throttle. It feels, it overall just feels better in terms of performance and um, being able to control the quad, the motor is able to stop and start the prop easier, etc. So overall, you know, the performance is better on this uh, less wide motor compared to the 2004. Now, the thing that I wasn't expecting was the performance of this motor on the four inch prop. And I wasn't really sure what to expect there because the 2004 motor, while it is wider, um, it's going to give you overall more power, I think, based on based on stator volume. I think I think I still think that this motor here is going to be better than the 2004 motor for a four inch prop if you got the four inch frame. So basically, the bottom line here, my ultimate conclusion is, if you're going to get the four inch frame, get the get the 1605 motor and not the 2004 motor, no matter which uh, prop you get, the three and a half inch prop or the four inch prop. Okay, so that being answered, the other question people had was, well, how does this compare to say like, um, like a Baby Hawk 2? 
um, which has a 1404 motor, or like the Smart 35 from GetRC, which also has a 1404 motor with the th with the uh, three and a half inch prop. And obviously, with the much larger motor, 1605 versus 1404, the performance is far superior, in my opinion. It's a slightly heavier motor, of course, but you just get way more performance in exchange for a little bit less flight time, of course. You're not going to get the super long flight times you can get on the Smart 35 and the um, Baby Hawk 2. Any other, the three and a half inch, I think the X Knight 35 from BFPV is also similar, 1404 motor with three and a half inch prop. All of those, you know, um, basically you have less performance for more flight time compared to the 1605 motor, more performance for less flight time. And I flew with this uh, GNB 16, or 660 milliamp hour 6S battery. On the three and a half inch prop, I'm getting roughly three and a half, uh, four minutes of flight time. You know, pretty aggressive flying, a lot of, you know, flips and rolls and power loops and etc. You know, obviously, again, trading performance for flight time. So if you, you know, again, like if you're looking at this, not necessarily for this frame, but maybe you wanted to get this 1605 motor for, say, a replacement on like a Baby Hawk 2 or Smart 35. Again, you can do that. You're just gonna, it's gonna be a little bit heavier. The quad's gonna be a little bit heavier overall. You're gonna get more performance, just less flight time compared to the 1404 motor. So those are my conclusions on this. And yeah, um, I'm probably showing you some flight footage here. Um, the three and a half inch and the four inch flights. You can, uh, it's you know, you're gonna look at this and you're like, well, this doesn't look that different from flying it on the 2004 motor. And, in terms of looking at the video flight footage, it doesn't, honestly, if, if, if I showed you side-by-side -side footage, you probably wouldn't be able to know unless I told you. It has to do with the stick feel and how it feels when you're actually controlling it um, and how it feels in the air. And that's really hard to convey in video, but you guys can look at the flight footage and compare it to the previous video, link in the description, of course, when it was on the 2004 motor, if you guys can see any obvious differences that I didn't see, let me know in the comments below, point that out to me. Um, I would like to take a look at that and see if there really was something there that I missed, but it doesn't look all that different in, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, other than that, you know, uh, just what I'm explaining here to you, um, those are the differences that I felt. Again, it's subjective, you know, um, this, it doesn't mean this motor is the best for a three and a half inch prop. And I'm sure people are going to be asking me that. It's really subjective because how do you define the best? Um, is this the best for long flight times? Mm, if that's your, if that's what you define as best, then this is not the motor for you. You probably want to go with a 1404 motor. Yeah, if you want more performance, then yeah, it's probably going to be better for you. So it's really subjective in how the motor feels, the, the kind of build you have, etc. I'm just giving you my opinion on how I flew it on this particular setup. And that's pretty much my conclusion. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.